Trump has, uh, you know, filed that he wants to appeal the decision, but he hasn't put up the money, okay? So he wants to try to put out there that I'm appealing it and I've got six months to file my brief and everything, but uh, yeah, no. Uh, if he doesn't put up the money by the 25th of March, <laughs> we're back to March 25th, <laughs> a belated birthday present for me. Um, if he doesn't put up the bond by then, things go forward. So him saying that he's appealing it um, has really kind of no validity because she can still go and attach his things and uh, liquidate them to pay it. So I think he's doing this just to uh, go out there and say, I'm appealing it and look what they're doing to me and they're grabbing my assets, etc. But let's look and see what the cards say. What can you tell us about him saying he's appealing this, but he hasn't put up any bond? He hasn't put the money up. You got to ante it up. You got to pony it up. Okay. So let's see what's overarching. Looking at this is the deeper things, the hidden knowledge, the what's, what's there, what's going on. Um, so what we have above it, endings. He's trying to find a way to stop this with what, what's crossing it is this new thing about saying that, well, I'm appealing the decision, but you can't, you know, it doesn't matter. You can appeal it, but uh, your assets are going to be gone. You still have to pay the $111,000 daily of accrued interest if you don't put up the bond. Now, if he had the money, he should have put up the bond because then it stops it and it gives him time to actually appeal it. But the fact he hasn't put up a dime kind of belays the fact that he's as rich as he says he is, okay? So the foundation of this is the writings on the wall. And this is, again, the um, reality of what it is and what it's not, okay? It's anchored in from the law, okay? It's anchored in, okay? So we'll put that there. So going into it, we have coming into this, is it, this is a way for him to be able to move it to somewhere else and put out a new spin talk, okay? That's, that's what that is. That is... We're going to fly away and we're going to try to say that but what we're appealing the decision and this and that but uh no it's fruitless because why he doesn't have the money okay he hasn't put up the money okay so he could put out his spin get out there on on tv and say but i'm appealing it uh but you gotta put the bond and he hasn't done that Above it, yeah, he wants to be able to put out a message, okay, of how dark they are to the, what, underneath of it all, the community. So this is another ploy. He doesn't have the money. He hasn't anteed it up to actually stop it, to appeal it the way you're supposed to do. But this is a way he could say, I'm appealing it. And he can put out, oh, they're so toxic, they're so bad to me, and I'm actually appealing it, and yada, yada. Okay. The challenge is, yeah, the promise of money, the promise of... <laughs> but I'm good for it. I've got money. I'm wealthy. I've got, you know, it's not going to fly with the court. Oop. Okay, the outcome is they're turning their back on it. Okay, this is going forward talk to the hand, you know, forget it. You may have the promise of money and putting your spin out there and your BS drama. He hasn't even anteed up the money for the E. Jean Carroll. And the $5 million one that he had he ante up, he got a bond for it, okay, I think. So what we have above it is 
you know, uh, I think this is Letitia James. And, uh, or, yeah, Letitia James on this one. She has every right to go after his assets after March 25th, is it, if he has not posted that bond to stop things while he appeals it. Okay? So, yeah, underneath of it all, he's trying to be crafty. Okay? But they know what's going on underneath of this. Okay? They have to, you have to look deeper at underneath of it what's going on. Okay? So again, this is something new, looking for the deeper, deeper uh, information of what's going on, anchoring in, underneath of it all, anchoring into the community of what's actually going on under the surface of things. We have the rules, the regulations, the writing on the wall. This is him wanting to be able to go out there and give this darker conversation and thinking he's crafty, okay? Above it, this is an ending, you know, an ending to his drama. The message is being put out by Letitia James that, uh, you know, no money, no honey. Okay, you get you got to ante up the money if you want to stop the proceedings and, and uh, have six months to file your brief and do that. Minus money, it goes forward. So you can put it out there and say all you want that you are uh, appealing this, but uh, yeah. So what's going on now is the money and the challenges. Again, the money, the promise, the promise of money at the end of the rainbow. He's, he's you know, well, look, we don't believe you. He said, why should I put up the money for the E. Jean Carroll, which is $85 million, versus the other one, which is a half a billion dollars? He can't even ante that up. He's going, well, you know I'm rich. Why should I have to put up the money? I don't have to put up the money. You know I'm good for it. Uh, that's not going to fly. He's trying that. So if he's trying that there, What's it say about the half a billion? He doesn't have it, okay? So again, in the past, going into it, this is his thing. Go out there and just say a bunch of drama, but the outcome is they they turned their back on him and said, look, this is the law. We don't care how special you think you are and how above the law you think you are. You have to ante it up like everybody else. Pony up the money. You're a, you're a billionaire. You're sitting there saying how much money you got all the time. I've got plenty of money. Then ante it up. Okay? Just going out and spouting this is not doing it. So let's go ahead and pull the tarot on it and see what the tarot has to say. What about this thing that he's saying he's appealing the case but he's not anteing up the bond, okay? So the overarching thing is, yeah, <laughs> slow moving. This is, you know, it's not going anywhere. That horse has stopped hanging on to the money and, uh, you know, saying, but it's, it's not moving. It's not going anywhere, okay? not going anywhere so we have yeah balance the court wants balance that's it but this is not going anywhere he's just you know out there flapping his lips and all your hot air you're putting out there isn't going to serve anything. We need to see the money. Show me the money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Medicine Mother, honor your inner knowing. Okay. So, inwardly, they know, they know what's going on with the balance of this 
and it's going nowhere. He is not anteing up the money, okay? He is, uh, he's just talking, you know, his usual thing, bombastic out there about how wealthy he is and why should he have to put up a bond? He's good for it. He's, you know, different than anybody else. No, anybody else would have to pony it up. They're not gonna play his game. So above it, yeah, he's struggling. He's struggling, okay? What's crossing it? Look it, you gotta ante up the money. And we are going to hold on to your assets, okay? Letitia has every right to hold on to his assets. Either you pony up the money and we stop it and you get six months to file your briefs and whatever, or else it goes forward. Okay, so the foundation is he's up there in the ozones in his fantasy land when it comes to <laughs> underneath of it all, judgment, the courts, the reality of the court system. So going into it, we have, yeah, you know, uh, the lid is off now and she's looking at this cup, the lid is off and it's coming out. What's going on now is about this sharing, okay, of what has to happen. Above it, we have the worldview, and this is affecting his whole world because why? The foundation, he's trying to hang on. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have two nickels to, to put together, and he's trying to keep control He's trying to manipulate this. He's trying to put himself in a position of power. It's not working, okay? The challenge is coming up with the cash, okay? His holdings, what he's got, his, his lifestyle, okay? The outcome is, yeah. Um, yeah, no. That's it, you're down, you're out, retreat mentally. Uh, your, your nonsense is not gonna help you. Above it, we have the judgments coming down. Foundation, he's feeling, uh, yeah, he's so abused, okay? Underneath of it all, he's facing loss. So let's see what's underneath the ongoing story. It's about his message, about his money, what's happening rapidly with all of these things that he's, per, people he's connected to and how he's trying to manipulate things because why? He's out in the cold, he doesn't have it. So this is bearing down on him now and he is with his toxicity trying to come up with some new type of cudgel going forward and all he's got is another fishtail about juggling money. And unfortunately for him, the seeds have been planted, but the harvest is not good when it comes to his repugly, ugly party. He's hoping to get the money from them, but yeah, it's not going to happen. Okay. It's not going to happen. He's got his daughter-in-law, Laura, up there siphoning off every single penny that comes in into his pocket, uh, but it's not going to be enough, okay? So we're breaking this down. This isn't going nowhere fast, okay? They need the balance. And the inner knowing is, look it, we're going to hold on to your assets, if you don't come up with a bond, we're going to hang on to your assets. And the inner knowing is he doesn't have it. The courts are underneath of it. They are in control. And even though Trump is trying to maintain control, okay, he's facing the loss, okay? You're not going to win against the courts. The foundation, he's got all this stuff up in the air. 
He's trying to struggle with money. And he's going to cry about how abused he is, the struggle with all of this. Again, he's fighting. He's struggling in his worldview, and he's feeling like he is being judged. Okay? Judgment is coming down. So what he's got going now, he's trying to share, and the challenge is money. Okay? To fuel his lifestyle. Going into it, everything's been revealed. The lid is off that cup, and he is in retreat. Um, when it comes to this, he's going to lose his assets. They will seize them. They will sell them off in order to pay his fines, to recoup the money that he got by ill-gotten gains. Okay, so he can whine, sit out there and whine and cry about how unfair it is. But uh, that's not going to stop the process. So, sorry, Donald. You, it's what happens when you're a con man and you're a criminal. Okay, you get caught. And all your bombastic BS that you want to put out to your followers, uh, it, it's not going to save you, okay? Uh, we have the law, and that's it. You got to pay up. So on that note, I'll leave that here. We'll see you online.